in this video, I'm going to do a bit of glamping in the Kia EV6. What's it like? What's the space like? Is it comfortable? Will I survive a night in this very cool autumn evening in Melbourne? Let's find out. G'day and welcome, my name is Chris and I cover from an Australian perspective, electric vehicles, technologies and more and more. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, it's absolutely free, or hang around to the end to hear how you can support the channel in other ways. Alright, so this is the Kia EV6 and well, if you watch my review, which I'll put up here somewhere, I've said it's a game changer and it's got features that, well, very few cars in the world have and one of them is vehicle to load and this car's not only got an external little socket adapter thing like this but it's also got an internal one as well so that's going to make this camping experience in the Kia EV6 really comfy because I'm going to use an electric blanket in here I'm going to put the climate on I'm going to check to make sure the car is actually fit for purpose that is to say to camp without ruining it for other people because you see my MG ZSCV review you'll know that I could never turn off the uh, daylight running lamps on those things and yeah I think it was a bit bothersome for people in that campsite. So I've camped also in a Tesla Model 3 and X. You can look for those videos on my channel. So I'm gonna give this one a go and let you know my thoughts as to whether or not it's a new king or queen of glamping. Let's see if this fits under the floor. Should, but I haven't been successful so far. A few moments later. It does, it does fit under there. Okay, I'm obviously not gonna be slipping on this hard surface, no. I've got the blow up mattress and one of those uh, device thingies. Now this is designed for use in cars and we can use the um, the 12 volt socket, but there's also the sort that, you know, the ones that plug into like a normal 240 outlet. So I could do that on the inside of this car because in the rear wheel single motor version, you've got that socket. But on this all wheel drive GT line version, you could also do the vehicle to load adapter. But we'll just use the 12 volt socket that's conveniently located in the boot here. And there's also FYI, one at the front uh, in the front area. All right, that looks all pretty neat and tidy, uh, if a little Insta-worthy. Maybe, comment below if you agree. All right, I'm gonna put the dimensions on screen now so you know exactly how it looks, it works in terms of you know length and width. So the first width here is actually um, uh, in, in the rear seat area, okay, the widest possible point. Whereas between the two wheel arches here is meter. This is a single block mattress for memory and I think it could be a bit bigger. Uh, I find that they tend to move. So if you actually get them a little bit bigger so they actually sandwich themselves in place, the better, <laughs> top tip, believe me, top tip. All right, so um, we've got the LEDs on in this car. Um, it is currently turned on, the heat is on, and I've got the electric blanket on, nice. Um, so I'm gonna now try to find if I can turn the lights off, keep the cabin on, and lock myself in so I'm safe and secure. Um, this is just in my backyard, so I've got no doubts that I'm safe. Uh, but nonetheless, you gotta think of these things because if you're a lone traveler, you want to actually make sure that you're safe and you don't want to attract attention by having the lights on and people coming and look and go, who's in there? What's going on that? Yeah, no, we don't do that. But for those who are new to electric vehicles, welcome, hi. Let me teach you some stuff, please. Uh, subscribe, it's absolutely free. Anyway, the awesome thing about electric vehicles is that they, they, there's no exhaust, there's no fumes, no CO2, carbon monoxide, um, particulate matter that clogs up your lungs, nothing. So you can have these cars running and this is going to be part of the t test tonight, is how much battery is this going to use? So before I go to bed, I'm going to um, check out to see how many, uh, what the percentage of the battery is. Hopefully we can get the actual kilowatt hours, that'd be the best way to know. And in the morning, we'll see uh, what the figure is. My goodness, it's a bit warm in here. Hang on, let's get that down. Oh, no, 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 not, not, not 17. No, 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 that's, that's just crazy. All right, um, oh, the seat warmer's been on. <laughs> Very good. Uh, let's have a see now. Lights, 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 all right. Okay, off, that's good. Those lights are off. 
that's affirmative. All right, battery, 62%. Um, all right, so transferring vehicle load, that's the electric blanket running. All right, so um, I don't think we'll have an issue, but let's take that down to 20%. That's probably a smart idea. So let's go here. I find this the easiest way. Vehicle to load, set that to 20%. All right, that's good. But we really want to see how much kilowatt hours of battery we've got here. Um, so let's have a look, see. Uh, I don't know. I can't see a better way of knowing what that's going to mean. All right, so let's get some numbers ready so we can compare what the result is in the morning. It's currently eight degrees. We've got 256 kilometers of range left and we're at 61% state of charge and the vehicle to load is going to cut off at 20%. So it's going to uh, stop the power to the electric blanket then. I really don't think I need to have the electric blanket or this heater going. Um, I'll decide in the night and I'll update you in the morning if I turn one or the other off. Now there's one more thing I need to do here and that is to actually turn off the ambient light. So let's do that. Go there. And um, let's see, settings, then we go vehicle, we're going to do lights, and ambient light, brightness, yeah, let's do that. Let's bring it right down to off. Ah, there we go. A good night's sleep is assured. Very good. All right, next one's going to be, can we get these displays? to turn off because that'll be a waste of energy. Display. I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> it's right in front of me. Display off. Okay, but this display is still on, which is gonna be, well, waste of energy, but it's not very bright. It's not very much at all. The heads up display is still also on. Um, I think I can turn that off, so let's try and do that first. Um, I think it's under vehicle and heads up display and we're going to go display mode let's heads up display off all right heads up display is off awesome and now we're going to go back here and it was display and display off Okay, now for the truly embarrassing bit, me clambering into here and I'm gonna try and press that to close it and we'll see what the comfort's like. Shoes are off. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about the butt view. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay, all right, okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, not the best view of my chin, but I'm in. Okay, uh, my feet are at the end of the bed and I can see an issue already, but come here, I'm, you're too far away. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa, microphone down. Okay, that was hilarious. Um, you can change the speed of the rear uh, closing one at the moment so I'm fast and when I pressed it it started coming down faster than I was really prepared for so I had to quickly tuck myself up into like the fiddle position like a gymnast and uh, I made it I didn't hurt myself and nor the car but oh my gosh it was uh, quite exciting for a few seconds then and then my microphone flew off and uh, yeah anyway all right now, I can tell you already, I've got my jacket on, so I need to get this off. Um, I've got jammies under here, so I'll get into them as well. I think the cabin temperature at 21 is too warm. I probably should say it's 18. I don't know. Um, and I can feel this allergy blanket on as well. I think the only way to know is to, yeah, get, get the jammy mood on and um, uh, just, yeah, see what, how it feels. Okay, apologies for this view, but I thought it'd be a bit fun. Um, uh, Jamie's done, um, I'm feeling warm and I'm not even under the covers so I'm definitely going to put the temperature down to like 18 degrees 
and I'm gonna put the electric blanket down to one. Probably a smart idea to be honest. Uh, again, I'll let you know in the night if I actually turn one or the other off. I probably will turn the electric blanket off first, uh, followed by changing the climate because I think it's gonna use more energy keeping the climate going overnight. Um, so, yeah. Uh, all right, that issue before I hinted of, um, I'm only five foot ten on a good day, and if you're taller than me, you're gonna need to have one of those sort of special bed thingies. The, this mattress is extending past the top of the rear seat ends, okay? And you can buy these sort of uh, special mattress um, things, and they make a flat base underneath it, and they have got these little stilts to give you that little extra length. And I've moved this seat forward, the passenger seat forward, and I could easily move the driver's seat forward. And I would have easily ample loads of space for someone who's two meters, two meters ten. I kid you not. But you're going to need one of those devices from one of those um, uh, mattress sort of maker people. They're, they're out in the market and um, they're really awesome. But I ain't got one. So anyway, for me it's fine because I'm only five foot ten. This mattress is right down against that door and my head's gonna be right here in the prime position and it's supported underneath it by the actual um, you know back of the uh, rear seat. So I'm okay, but if you're any taller than five ten, you're gonna need something to actually help you. Um, with my MG ZSV, what I do is I use suitcases. I chuck I stuff them really full, and you just yeah, you put these suitcases behind these front seats, um, and, you know, in that little space, the footwell space, and it then supports the mattress a lot better. So just yeah, a great top tip. All right, good night, and I'll see you in the morning. All right, good morning and apologies for the morning face. Uh, I slept pretty well, to be honest. Um, it's now 7.45 and I woke up about 15 minutes ago. And uh, last night I identified two issues. Um, so I got this B-roll. And the first was the internal cabin light. Um, I had to do some gymnastics to get to the front to be able to turn off the lights. So that was the first frustration. Um, the second one was the key didn't operate um, this boot, so I couldn't actually open it up like this um, to get out easily, so I had to do go through the side door. And then the next one was also I couldn't lock the car from the key fob. I had to um, again reach over to the front to the very far distant central locking thing on the driver's door. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit frustrating and um, you know something in some uh, if you had a Tesla, you could do that in your Tesla because you can do it through your app, right? Um, uh, so yeah, that was a bit annoying. What, how did it go though? Okay, so comfort wise, it was great. Um, I set it to 18 overnight, I was plenty warm enough. I turned the electric blanket off um, and uh, I forget what time it was, um, but I had it on one and then sometime in the middle of the night I woke up and I was too hot, so I turned it off. Um, and I was comfy. I wasn't stretched. I had, didn't have to do any fetal style position thing or sleep diagonally as, as I have in um, uh, with our MGZ SEV. Um, so that was great. And the important thing here is, is that I only used 5% of the battery. 5%. We lost 20 kilometers of range and that's it. And that's like, I think I went to bed about midnight, a bit after midnight. And so seven hours and a half later, 5% uh, of the battery lost. 20 kilometers lost, that this thing could just keep going and going and going. It's, it's very impressive. Um, so, yeah, I um, <laughs> I think this, this, this is it's, it's doable, it's, it's very doable. And uh, if you think to yourself, yeah, this is for me, I wanna get this a go, I'll give it a go. Um, these blow-up mattress thingies are like $35 from Kmart, um, not even, um, so give, yeah try it it's a lot of fun all right so that's uh, been a fun video and my time with the Kia EV6 has also been awesome so thanks so much if you've watched it up till now and uh, if you want to see more content like this consider subscribing absolutely free if you want to see behind the scenes uh, news around electric vehicles renewables and more join me over here on patreon where you get all that and a lot more for as little as $2.50 per month and otherwise you'd be good and you'd be awesome <laughs>